Rani, nice to see you. Un gusto para todos. Hoy hablaremos en inglés para que Rani nos entienda. Rani es lieutenant del Ejército de Israel, de la fuerza, es CEO de la Fundación Atalev ¿sí? y parte de la unidad más importante o de las más importantes de Israel, como Shayetet Shloshes Rey, este, una unidad especializada en misiones eh, diferentes y de las que normalmente vemos en el cine y en las películas y que ahora está cumpliendo misiones diferentes y cosas diferentes, pero de esto nos estará platicando Rani. I was telling them just that Shayeta Shloshes Rey is one of the units, most important units in the Israeli army and that do, does normally special missions that we see normally like in the movies or something like that, it's like everybody wants, but now Shayetet is doing different missions. It has to change because all the situation in our, around the world. Rani, thank you for being with us. Tell us a little bit first, what is Shayetet, what is Atalev? Okay, so first, uh, thank you for, for having me. Uh, Shayetet uh, 13 is actually the Israeli Navy SEALs unit. Uh, it's one of the top units in the Israeli army, uh, part of the Israeli uh, Navy. Um, the, 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 the unit is actually is a commando unit that is, has the expertise to, uh, to operate uh, through water, air, and, and land. Uh, people should be uh, very versatile. Uh, with a huge responsibility, uh, small teams, uh, and, and a lot of uh, missions, some of them close to the country and some of them far away. Um, there is not a lot I can tell about the, the, the unit activities because most of it is, is confidential with, 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 uh, with very clear why. But what I can say is that uh, during the COVID-19 uh, period, which started in Israel uh, somewhere in the mid of March, uh, where people uh, stopped, I mean, there, there was a quarantine uh, announced and people stopped going to, to, to the offices. Uh, the army, the unit, the active unit was still busy what, you know, the unit has to do because the virus did not take any of our enemies. Uh, on the contrary, uh, we, we had to, to stay on the watch to, to, to make sure that no one will take advantage of, of the virus. Uh, Atalev Foundation is the foundation that uh, uh, is the foundation of, of the unit. Uh, includes, I mean, the Atalev community is all the alumni of the uh, Shayetet uh, 13 unit. Uh, many people who served uh, uh, since uh, 50 years back uh, till today I was part of a new class that is just released from the army, uh, young people that are coming into the civilian life. So I was part of a panel there to, to help them to understand how life outside of the unit looks like. Now, what, what, when we faced the COVID-19 here in Israel, we were sitting uh, in the Atale Foundation and asked ourselves one question. Uh, we have our people, Uh, and we have our skills, what can we do now to be relevant for, for the country in these difficult times? Uh, it took us like uh, three days to divide the country to 11 regions, to, nom to nominate uh, a chief for each region and uh, start announcing within the communication Uh, what that we are uh, actually establishing a task force that will do whatever is needed for the population, for the civilian lives, uh, to make to make the, the struggle with the COVID-19 easier uh, and better, 
uh, in like uh, three days, we had a structure with more than 350 volunteers in 11 regions. And each region contacted locally with the local municipality. Uh, and some of them had few municipalities, got in contact with the volunteer center locally and actually started getting uh, tasks. We had the uh, WhatsApp groups for each region and one WhatsApp group for the whole the, the, the management of the, of, the, uh, of the regions. And we started doing things like uh, delivering food for old people that could not leave home, uh, delivering uh, all kinds of cans uh, and medicines to mainly old people, to Holocaust survivors, uh, that has had no family to take care of. Um, this was uh, in the period of uh, the Holocaust day. And then a week later, it was the period of the, the memorial, the Israeli Memorial Day, the day before the Independence Day. And I can say that this structure was operational for five weeks, 24-7, uh, uh, we did things also during the weekends, whenever there was a need from one of the, in the municipalities, the, the needs came up and it was uh, empowering to see that the people were just, nobody asked any questions. You just saw on the WhatsApp list, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, one task after the other. We had like thousands of tasks during these uh, five weeks. Thousands of tasks. Uh, thousands of tasks. I'm telling you. Like, uh, I don't know. And you were 300, more than 300 volunteers, but thousands of tasks is like, I don't know, many. It's like, uh, like uh, four or five thousand because we had to deliver uh, food uh, to the old people and also families in need that could not go to the supermarket. Some of them lost their jobs, so they had no money to go to the supermarket and the municipality together with the army, they have arranged the food, but they needed people to come with their, with their cars. And I, I used to come with, uh, let's say with my wife, with a car, put like uh, 15 packages with address on each package and make a tour like two hours in the city of Herzliya where I live. And then we pick up uh, in the WhatsApp, we could see if it's done for today, or we had to come for a second round and maybe for a third round. And uh, the people, I mean, we had more than volunteers than, than tasks, which, which is great because you saw the spirit of our alumni uh, in completely different uh, actions, you know. Uh, I can share with you that in, a, in the Seder evening, before we started, we started early this year because of my granddaughter. We did it on a Zoom uh, say there. I got uh, a like personal call, yeah, like many people, uh, and uh, this was the best chance that you know Eliyahu Anavi would come with the Zoom. No, no, and yes, the, but, but you know he couldn't go. He's older, <laughs> so he could he could not be in the center. He was not invited. We didn't put a care for him because we didn't yeah. have to, we didn't want to contact to, to get the him problems. with the virus. The problem with the white donkey. So I received a call from the mayor of Jerusalem, Mr. Moshe Leon. I, I did not recognize the number, but I said, if someone is calling, I'm answering. And he said, hello, this is the mayor of Jerusalem. We don't know each other, but I know your guys. They really saved us. And uh, the, our team in Jerusalem was working like hell. And this was like one of the things that I will probably remember for, for a long period. Anyway, we, we did it for like five weeks. And after the Independence Day, we said, OK, we kept the structure in case the, the second wave might come. So far, so good. We, I mean, it's phasing out the, the COVID-19, at least here in Israel. And we are on the right uh, track to go back to routine. Even the, the, the service uh, in the army started already. Uh, so we had a few days till, till now. 
missions are back to normal. We are back to do what we are uh, trained to. Uh, and this was for us, it was quite an adventure. And to see that uh, at Aleph Foundation, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's all about the people. And whenever we, we need them, uh, and whenever, whenever duty calls, we know that uh, there will be guys standing with us and do what is needed to do uh, to keep the country stronger. Tell me something. I heard that not, ju not, not just you did um, shipping or get, getting food and helping older people and other things. I know here is yet to build any many other things using their knowledge. For example, I hear about that you make a, a oxygen tanks or ventilators now that they were very useful and that you were using your skills yes, to help yes. other people because I know if there, there are many skills you have that could be helpful in other ways. Is there anything you can, you can, you can explain also what these skills of being a, a part of this unit help us for the people in Israel? You know, the, the, the hospitals were struggling uh, to maintain a steady supplies of compressed oxygen yes. for the COVID-19 patients. We could see it, uh, uh, the shortage, especially in Italy, where, I mean, people know oxygen. In, in Israel, uh, thanks God, we did not get into that uh, situation. But what the unit did, uh, since the unit, the, the, the Shayetet 13 unit, uh, has extensive experience in scuba diving, and, and, and I mean, the, the unit knows, has the, the oxygen expertise. Uh, what, what we did in the unit, we built a line, a kind of production line, combined all the components we have for routine life, with mobile medical oxygen compressing systems right. to be ready to be delivered to nursing houses or to hospitals in case the stock of the machines uh, will be, uh, there will be a shortage. And um, this was ready, in some cases was operational, uh, and I think for, for the future, uh, the, the, the unit and, and the medical guys and the te technological guys had to do some uh, adjustments to some equipment. Uh, and I know that the Shayetet also gave some uh, consulting about it to armies uh, around the world to show that in case this might be a very good uh, alternative. And, and how did it help? How, how was it? It's still working. How did it? What was the result of all of this in this hospital? How many hospitals? How, how was the result of this the innovation? Because all around the world they were looking for that. So uh, I think the 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 operational part was still low because it it came as a, a future in case the, the units in the hospital will be fully booked. Uh, uh, right now, I know the, the operational is, uh, I mean, the, the, the equipment is probably got into the hangars and uh, will be ready uh, in case there will be a next wave or hopefully not, or maybe in six months time. Uh, if there will not be a vaccine or a solution or so the, the alternative is there and the army uh, is ready to deliver in, 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 in high, high quantity, which is good because it gave the government and, and the Navy a kind of, uh, they, they became more relaxed. Uh, that there is an, an alternative because you know the, the the machines there was a worldwide shortage because of of the coronavirus and we knew that if we cannot get them from the outside uh, we need to 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 do something uh, to make something from 
with what this was a good opportunity for the unit to use its uh, expertise. Bernie Ponti, in that expertise and that thing, I have two questions. One, it doesn't have to be with the coronavirus, but for this, some, something people ask a lot about the unit. Do you know that we have seen, now it's Israeli army, it's very popular with the serious powder. <laughs> yes. All right. And everybody asks, is that part of what Chayette does? It's a different unit? Or, or it are the guys that came to help them when they are in the sea, when they have to go out from Gaza? What is the relation? Because people say, yeah, that's what people are seeing now about Israeli army, that and hostages and another one that is called Mossad. That's the image. Is that something to do with what Chayette does? Uh, okay. Uh, powder is a, is a, is a great theory. Uh, uh, you know, there was a period, uh, I mean, and Fauda in the army is a unit named uh, Duvdevan. Translation yeah. is cherry, you know. Yeah. And uh, there was a period that people who served in Shayetet had to go to be in charge, uh, command of Duvdevan. You met uh, Ram uh, Rothberg, yes. uh, and he was the head of Duvdevan at the, the early days. Yes. Um, what Duvdevan does, that's what they do. There were many, there are many cases that Chayetet does similar things in different regions, same technique, same strategy. Sorry, I cannot uh, detail more, but... Uh, you can turn off your camera and speak about it. No, 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 but, no, no, but the, 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 the theory is, is Duvdevan, and they are talking about the West Bank, but the same uh, tactics are used in Gaza, are used in, in many other places, and in some of them, because of the versatile way to get there, that's why Shayetet has a role to play. All right. With that, I want to go to, go to the next question. Is, you know, Shayetet is a unit that fights against terrorism, against many other things that make incursions in Gaza and other places. I don't want to talk about the things you cannot talk about. But tell me, after being in that unit or being in this, in this unit, I imagine a soldier that has to be fighting against death or life against a, 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 a terrorist or a, something like that. And suddenly he has to be carrying a box to an older people, to an elder people. How does it feel when you change from being in that part of, the, of a war, of, a, of, 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 a, of risking your life? against a gun and then suddenly being having to say all right now i'm i'm i'm, I'm a, a, a delivery guy serving to some people i know it's very important but how does it feel and what is the different sensation about that that fight and this now new fight like an all uh, like a former uh, lieutenant a, a part of uh, this unit and for the volunteers that are part of the army still now part of the unit i'm, I'm doing this it's, it's, a, it's a very good question. You know, in Shayetet, you are trained to, to accomplish missions. Uh, by, by the training is so intensive that it becomes part of your DNA. And the way it, it is done in generally in, in Israeli defense forces, it comes with a lot of humanity. And, and I think it's not far away if you have to go somewhere and kill a group of terrorists so they will not shoot missiles on a nursing home in the southern of Israel. Uh, it's very similar if now duty calls and you have to go to the same nursing home and deliver food. Of course, uh, to deliver food, we are a little bit uh, overskilled, I would say. But if this is what need, is needed to be done, we are there to be the first. We are there to lead. We are there to jump first and to say, that's what we need to do. That's what we are going 
to do. There is a lot of similarity because at the end of the day, you know, as an Israeli soldier, which is different from some other soldiers that, you know, they are far away, 5,000 miles from the country. Here, we fight to protect our country and our people. And if you need to go to, to an Holocaust survivor and help him to, because he, he, he fall and he called the center and you need to get into his house and help him to, to, to pick him up and put him back uh, in, in his chair and bring him the food from the, the municipality or, or from the welfare center. For me, it's the same. It's, it's, it's the same involved uh, mission and humanity. And I think that, you know, I, I showed you when, I, 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 when we met last time, the, the, the mission that I joined when I was younger, bringing the Ethiopian Jews from uh, Ethiopia. Uh, before the borders were open, uh, is the same. Uh, in practice, is is the same. Uh, they are saying that the meeting is going to be finished. I don't know why. No, it's all right. Uh, it's already it's all right. We can continue. Okay. Yes. Okay. So uh, it's the same. Uh, yes, we were there as soldiers. Yes, we came with weapons, but the mission was a civilian mission. And I, uh, this is, what is it about? I mean, it's an Israeli culture. It's not only Shayet Shloshestre, I think it's something very common for, for IDF. When the country is in trouble, we are all getting, we'll all, we, with all what we have, with all the resources uh, to help the weak populations and, 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 and hopefully that we, when we will be weak, there will be young generation to support us. You know, you said something important that many of the people that helped, they were volunteers from the unit, that, or they, that, that were, they, they were part of the unit. I think it was, and I want to know, how did you feel it? You know, the unit, the people that are in the unit now, for example, that, that, that are the ones that are fighting or being in the, in the field of, of war, yes? But now there was an opportunity for many people that they were part of the unit to, to come back to the unit, to be part of the unit in different ways. I know that you never leave it. You, you told me, if you were a soldier, you are always a soldier. If you are a part of the unit, you are always a part. But you can be a part and be sitting in your house, uh, eating and, and being part, oh, all right, I'm from Sayed. But now it was an opportunity to get back to the unit. How does it feel? I know you are all the time there because you are the CEO of a foundation that helps the, the, these units. And but how does it feel for many of how did they, did they feel? Many people, if you have any comment of people that they were already apart from the unit, yes, but now they have to be again in the, in the combat field against an, a, a different enemy. They are not going to be going, going in special mission. But this was a very special mission. And it was again like, I don't know, putting again like the uniform and saying, now I am again part of the unit and working with mm. the unit and all that. How does it feel? So first, uh, what we did uh, with the distribution of the food during the virus, the, the coronavirus, uh, we did as civilians, no uniforms. Uh, this was not paid by the army. It no, was not part of the army. But I can tell you that, you know, the, the, commu the community of Fatalev, many of the guys, once they are finished the, the active service, they, they do the reserve service for many years. Uh, many years and they are part of the reserve service. And actually the unit never leaves their heart. You know, they, know. they get into it at the age of 18 and and, and for, I think for me, it's, that's it. Even after they finish the reserve, they will be, most of them will be heavily involved in the Atalef activities, in mentoring uh, the new generation, in volunteering in our uh, social activities. Uh, because, I mean, you cannot quit. I mean, this is something no, that you can quit. 
part of your DNA. It's like being part of a, a football team. You always play and you won. But coming back, you know, you don't go and play. But suddenly they call you from your uh, football team and say, you know, we need to complete a game again and we need you. It's like being, or we are going to make a, a remembered game and we need you. And putting again and saying, I'm again playing, it feels different. It feels like, wow, I'm again. I know you, you do it by yourself. But it's different. I'm in a mission now. Not just it, you it's know, a so great, a it's a great, going. How did you it's feel? a How great did you feeling. Yeah. It's, it's always, at least for me personally, it's uh, when I'm called every time for service for years, it's, it's a great feeling that you are still needed. It keeps you a little bit young, you know. Uh, uh, it's a great feeling to be part of the shield of this country. And in that part, you, you are doing a very good job with this foundation, with another foundation that works with Shayete Shurasete. What is not called Foundation Shayete? I don't know. What is called Foundation Atale? And what does it do, do with, the, with this unit in normal days? Now I know, I know that you were organizing many things. But normal, after this situation and before this situation, what was the work or what is the work of Atale? Okay, so this is, uh, let me make a little bit higher, 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 a little bit to your, I don't know, exactly. That's a very nice. Very this, nice. Is, this is the unit uh, symbol yes. that people keep on their shirt. So you yes. can see it on my shirt. Exactly. And the symbol is, I mean, when you look at it, it's like Atalef wings. Uh, saying uh, that Atalef is usually operational during night. Right. And in the middle, you can see the sword and the shield. Right. So we are here to fight and protect, but right. active during the night, uh, undercover. Uh, so that's the symbol, and that's why uh, the, the Atalef, Bet in English, that's the, the name of the foundation. So that's it makes sense now for you, I hope, right, yes. or a little bit more. Yes. And what does what is the normal work of Atalef? What what does it does normally, not in this situation, with the unit? I know what is the unit, but what, what so, can we do with, with that? Or for what we need Atalef Foundation? Because this is a yeah. part of the of the army, and many people say, if this is the army, why do I have to help them? It's the army. Okay. So uh, at the Left Foundation does uh, many things. I will go briefly. First, we are taking care, keeping the contact, and I think this is maybe number one priority with all the bereaved families. In the unit, we have 85 uh, people were killed. We are keeping contact with the families. Uh, by the way, also during the coronavirus, uh, we got volunteers to call each one of the families because you know the parents uh, who lost their kids, uh, the warriors from the unit, they are quite old. And we made sure that for any request or a need, we can uh, deliver. And there were like four or five needs that we distributed to the regions uh, and, 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 and gave them what they needed. So first priority is the bereaved families. Uh, we get them together once a year. The second is taking care of the wounded soldiers in the unit uh, for years, bringing them back to the units with the families, with the kids, uh, making uh, meetings, uh, trying to show them or bringing them back to the life before they, they became uh, uh, wounded and, and, and hurt getting them closer because once a guy is becoming a wounded soldier he's getting out of the unit and it, when we when we spoke with them it's we realized that for them it was a big punishment because the unit is a family so we brought we brought them back so now they are part of the unit part of the alumni activities uh, and the rest what we do we do a lot of networking activities between uh, all the alumni we have uh, WhatsApp groups, professional ones, so people can, can look for, if you're looking for a lawyer, someone from the unit in a specific uh, 
segment, you can just get, get one. So it will be someone you, can, you might trust. So this is uh, one part. Uh, so, and we do some uh, events for networking to, to leverage the con connections between all the community, at the left community. Uh, the, the, the big part of, of what Atalef uh, does is helping the new soldiers, once they are finishing the service, the active service, helping them to have a smooth transition into civilian life. Getting them scholarships to go to university, getting them mentoring program for a year, so they are attached to an older brother. Uh, someone might be from the unit or outside of the unit to help them to make the right decisions and help them to get the right directions once they are outside of the very difficult and sometimes traumatic service. And the big part of what was developed the last uh, uh, two years, mainly even two and a half, is the social activities. With the alumni, we are helping, uh, you remember the body line project, helping uh, post-traumatic soldiers from the army, uh, PTSD guys, uh, with activities, with diving, surfing, and sailing. But the activities are kind of a cover. To get a warrior from Shayeta, a commando warrior, take a guy that is hurt, he has a trauma, he has a broken spirit, get them together, become, make them a friends, like body lines. Uh, one is heavily connected with, with, the, with the body line, with the rope, so-called, to each other. And they walk through together for almost a year. Wow. And, and, and we, we see the impact, and last year, when I came to Mexico, the pilot was 32 volunteers attached to 32 uh, post-traumatic soldiers, like pairs, 32 yeah. pairs. This year, we are running the programs with 98 pairs. Wow, from 32 to 98, uh, it's great. For, yes, yes, because we saw with the pilot, we made a measurement and we saw that the activity got, got the guys out of bed Bring, brought them back to social activities, uh, brought them back to work. The, the activities and the connection with the commando guy, that, you know, the guy was not judging them, was just listening and give, giving them the, 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 the self-confidence that they lost. And we saw that the impact of the program is reducing the symptoms of post-traumatic by more than 40%. So we decided, let's go for it. There are many post-traumatic soldiers in Israel. Uh, many of them are not history of defense. So what we do, we give them the strengths to start the process of recognition with the programs. Right. And uh, right now we do a measurement again, uh, but more scientific one with the Israeli post-traumatic uh, center. And also we are also measuring the impact on the volunteers, because we believe that uh, on top of the good things it does for the post-traumatic guys, we believe that it does huge effect on the volunteers themselves. I know that because I was taking active part in one of the programs the last few years. And what is nice is that we measure it through the eyes of their spouses to see right. what is the impact. That's interesting. That's interesting. Yes, and uh, I Would don't know if I spoke about everything we do. Uh, I think pretty much, uh, yes, the, the, uni the, the, the foundation is very active. Unfortunately, because of the coronavirus and because of the economic crisis worldwide, now we are short with budgets, struggling not to reduce any soldier from the programs. Uh, trying to beg in front of the donors to help us. And I hope that maybe part of your program that will give us the exposure in, uh, in, in, in Mexico, uh, 
uh, will increase a little bit the, the level of donations that will come that, that was something to Atalef, to this important thing. I, that was the last thing I wanted to ask you. I know the Dune unit is one part. You have Atalef uh, Foundation. But many people would love to be part of this. Not just maybe, I don't know, do something. Not just donate, maybe do something and be part of this unit. I know they cannot be in the army. I can, if I want to be, a, you won't put me in the, in, in the unit to go there or to do something. Or you won't, or you won't take me to Israel to be there. To be. But how can be part of the job of the foundation, of the, of, of, of the foundation, of from the unit? How can we do some part? We, you, I know with donation is one part. Is there any way? I know there is the, uh, the you represent the here in Mexico, the Yanis part, and we have uh, other people. What can we do to help in this foundation to be part, to be feeling, and maybe someday having this thing in your, in your search because it's nice and it's also an honor to have that thing in, in, in with you. It's incredible to feel part of this unit and from, uh, from Atalev. So I think, uh, I think the key is, is resources, it's money, but the money can be connected to very specific things. And, and then the, the person can, can get uh, short movies. Maybe, maybe, for example, if someone wants to assist us and is willing to uh, adapt three pairs from the body line, and then they can send him a short movie uh, at the beginning of the course, during the course, a few emails, uh, pictures. So people will see that the money is going to the right cause. They will be able to see that the person who started the, with the, the, the efforts they did with, with the money, uh, how the person is moving on and getting back to life and all what he sacrificed for the country, now the country can help him to start building his, his life. You know, we can always do uh, on, 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 we make shares for the program, so we can always put sponsorship on the back of the, uh, the shares by that or this family. Uh, one activity I did not mention, it's a, it's a new one that we started this year. Uh, we are working with the uh, Youth at Risk uh, Foundation, uh, people that are really uh, on the edge of criminal, uh, at, uh, eight, I mean, at teenagers. And what we do, they, they teach surfing and they get these people into normal life, out of jail through surfing. And we put, we plant three of our alumni in each class of uh, 12 uh, kids, uh, teenagers for 15 weeks. Each week has a four hours session. And the impact is, is huge because these guys that you know, they are on really in the shadow of life suddenly they get in contact with, uh, for them, it's like half God, the guys from the Israeli commando steals. And they see that at the end of the day, they are human. They are not far away from where they can be and giving them the, the hope to get back to life, to get to join the army when they can. And the nice thing is that when they come to the age of 18, and they get, then get recruited to the army, there is a process that most of them, their criminal record is erased. And they start life in the army service and then afterwards in civilian life with a blank page. This is something we started. We are touching this year, planning to, to touch with our volunteers, 150 kids, wow. which, is, which is a lot. And, uh, and you know, it, for, for me, it, it gives us the, the, complete, the complete package. We take care of the unit, of the wounded people, of the bereaved families. We take care of the wounded soldiers. 
and we take care of the future soldiers of the future of the country, which is the weakest population of the youth uh, in, in, in the country. And I hope that next year with the youth, with the kids to see like 500 kids with our groups. And you know, the involvement of, of donors can always be, uh, we can always call a, a class by the name of someone to put the name of the family on the share or on the surfing, on, on, or on the surfing board and show them the kids. Maybe they will have the opportunity once in a while to talk with them in a Zoom uh, call to feel that they are part of it. Yes, from the other side of the, of the globe, uh, but can, they can definitely be, be part of it. And that's the big difference because the donations that comes to Atalef, we can show the donor where the money goes and we do not put it in assets. We don't put it in buildings or in other clinics or stuff. We put it in weak population and we make an investment in the future of this country. That's incredible. I hope someday these kids I think many of them would love to be part of the unit. I, it will be very interesting. One of these 150 kids and more that you will be helping will be someday part of the unit and, and, and serving the country in this special uh, activity. It will be incredible to, to, to be part. I know they, they can be in any other unit, but it will be incredible to encourage them, to encourage them to be part of this special unit and that they feel that and that they, instead of being with problems on the street, they become helpful for the country and for the world because I know that Chayette also does uh, many things, not only in Israel, he does many things to help people around the world in many other activities. And that's incredible. Uh, in that way, if you are helping kids, maybe it's a good idea if you speak with uh, Rob David Grossman. You know, he helps many kids also. It will be, it will be a, very joint in, in, in an interesting activity to, uh, to groups that help uh, kids for the future. And David I, I think I think I met him in Margolis office, might be? Maybe, if you need him. He, I, I have the contact. It's very interesting what he does for helping kids in, in many ways. He has Migdalor and he helps. Oh, yeah, I know. I, yeah, I met him in Margolis office. Oh, but right. what, we, what, what we do, we do it through a C activity because the C is our strengths. So right. we use our strengths uh, because, you know, if you put me in a class with kids, yes, my, the image and the glory might no, help. But when I get with them inside the water is a different ball game. I will be glad if you do something together, we help with many with them. We, we love what... Uh, Atalef is doing, we will be incredibly honored to help you and to promote what you are doing. And every time we speak with you, you have new things. Now from yes. 30, to, 30 to 90 with this part of the, yeah. accompanying us with the soldiers in this area that, that you are doing with the ship, with the, that. Now with everything you did with the coronavirus and now with the part of, uh, of uh, youth kids, it's incredible your job and thank you yeah, for my part. Thank you for what you do for Israeli country and for the Jewish people, because this is all for Jewish people all around the world, and, non for, and also for non-Jewish people, because this will have many other uh, things. Definitely. Thank you, Ronnie. Definitely. I don't know if you have something else to, to tell us. Lilian, anything? We are here. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for the opportunity and for the exposure. And uh, I hope to see you next time, either here or in Mexico. <laughs> well, we will be glad. I hope we will see any, any of us, not just by. You Zoom. know, you know, Isaac. Now it's your turn to come here. I, I'm, I'm sure I want to be there. I'm just waiting for the opportunity, and that somebody around the world will let us go because now we are here. We're trying to do our best job also here in Mexico to help the people, to help yeah. all around things, and to do things against this new enemy that is sometimes invisible, but it's more important, like somebody told me, what we can do against it all around the world. Perfect, all right. So you have a good weekend. Lilian, I don't know if you are with us or not, uh, but probably she is not. She was, uh, she, she homeschooling. <laughs> She's right, homeschooling. Yes. 
it's a little bit complicated. I'm not. It's a little bit complicated now, you know, with all of these. But yeah. we, we'll rent. You know, I'm helping my mother now in some minutes to get inside her Zoom classes. That's very. If you have it and you can help, that can be a good idea also for people because uh, older people cannot go inside Zoom. I know, for example, in Mexico, there are many classes in Zoom, the sports mm. center and everything. And it's incredible because they have it, but they cannot go inside because they don't know how to do it. Yes. Ah, so, so you help her. From yes. outside, I, I put a, 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 I'm using a com my computer inside her computer or her computer inside my computer, and I'm helping her to go inside the classes. So it's another way to help them because you know you cannot visit them and you cannot go there and keep doing it. So it's incredible. This is so, it's great. You keep yourself safe till this uh, Corona is over and. Uh, Wish us all back to life, routine life, quickly you're almost, getting, you're almost getting there, but normal. I didn't ask you, but now you are. You told me that you're not getting back to your normal mission and everything. Is Israel we, already getting back? We are almost there. I think the next step to be fully normal is opening the restaurants and the cultural shows. Besides that, the, all businesses are back to work. Uh, traffic, uh, supermarkets, people should